What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Courting. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you aren't, perhaps this video will cheer you up a little bit. Now, if you remember G.I. Joe, I do. I remember G.I. Joe quite fondly. Um, I also remember the man that destroyed G.I. Joe, uh, a man by the name of Aubrey Sitterson, who decided to introduce the Healthy at All Sizes G.I. Joe team. He's also a man that has truly garbage opinions in real life. He, he's had some interesting run-ins. We have G.I. Joe writer learns painful lesson after disgusting uh, tweet, we'll put. Back on that day, never hashtag never forget, IDW and G.I. Joe writer Aubrey Sitterson went to Twitter of all places to make his voice heard about what bothered him about remembering that day. He tweeted about this absolutely disgusting message. By the way, this is the guy that writes G.I. Joe. Oh God, it's self-centered national tragedy remembrance from people who weren't even anywhere in New York, near New York City day. Who in their right minds thought this was okay? By the way, this is via botting in the comics. Not to mention it's factually inaccurate. Citizen must have forgotten the Pentagon right outside of Washington DC, as well as the people on United Flight 93, which was down in Pennsylvania. There were 3,000 people, you know, involved. Personally, for me, I remember that day more than any other day from, like, really my youth. It's the most vivid thing I can remember. Uh, needless to say, you know, it wasn't very long before fans of G.I. Joe took note of Aubrey Citizen's tweet and brought it to the attention of IDW Publishing as well as Hasbro, who control the G.I. Joe franchise. Dude, you lost me. You also lost me getting G.I. Joe, a great American hero. You are not. Wow, what a jerk thing to say from a person who writes the G.I. Joe title. Guess I'm back to just reading uh, Larry's book. I know, where I, I know where I was when I canceled my IDW subscriptions. Do you agree with... So basically, he gets fired from it. IDW tried to put out some damage control. They responded to complaints about Citizen by saying, hey, he was living there and blah, 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 blah. Um, and then he went on to play the victim. And, you know, this is what, I mean, it, 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 it just, of course, of course. The end result, IDW canceled Aubrey Citizen's upcoming G.I. Joe comic, Scarlet Strike Force, almost a week before this December 5th final order cutoff date. When questioned about the early cancellation from one reader, IDW responded, our cancellation of the series is related solely to the book sales and not being at a level we needed to be continued for anything else. However, the reader still wasn't buying it, but IDW further explained. So anyway, he loses his book. Now, disgraced G.I. Joe writer Aubrey Citizen pitches new series described as revolutionary leftist take on superheroes. Now, look, I want to be very clear and say this, okay? This is exactly what I want people like Aubrey Citizen to do. I don't want people like Aubrey Citizen to destroy the legacy of G.I. Joe. I want him to go and make his own comic. And that's exactly what he's doing here. So I'm not going to dump on him for going out and doing exactly what I want people like him to do. Uh, I, I would much rather he ruin his own IP uh, than a beloved one from my childhood. And people like this exist all over, in, especially in the comic book industry. He brings you beef bros. Citizen will be collaborating with artist Tyrell Cannon on a series that will see two superheroes named Huey and Ajax Beef, who are willing to brawl with uh, cops, cruel landlords, and predatory corporations. Not because of any complicated college boy theorizing, but because helping out is simply the right thing to do. He goes, he goes on to describe the 32-page full-color issue as an archaeo-communist take on superheroes with politics so radical that big corporate-owned publishers would never touch it. Citizen explains that the world needs the beef bros because superheroes were all about one thing. Protecting the little guy, gal, or nine binary pal. But somewhere along the way, he got lost. As capes transformed from populist defenders of the working class to glorified super cops. In a YouTube video promoting the series, Citizen elaborated the most embody the embodiment of a centrist law and order and even outright reactionary politics. 
To make things worse, to add insult to injury, most of the popular superheroes are owned by colossal mega corporations that pay creators, the people who invented these superheroes, a mere pittance. I'm talking pennies. Now, Aubrey Sitterson has never created anything that I'm aware of until now. Um, he didn't create G.I. Joe, so I don't know why he thinks he was owed for creating them. He only destroyed G.I. Joe. Sitterson goes on to explain the Huey and Ajax beef are a couple of happy-go-lucky bodybuilders helping out their community. Not through any complicated theorizing, but instead in accordance to the one true, inviolable moral and ethical imperative, if you can help someone, you do. They don't waste time beating up criminals, though. They take the fight to the real villains. I'm talking about police officers, greedy landlords, and even a couple of boot-licking rival superheroes all while embodying egalitarian ideas of empowerment and mutual aid. Now, by the way, I want to give Aubrey, I've got to give Aubrey, oh, Citizen also told Bleeding Cool, he describes the comic as nice leftism, and that is an antidote to toxic masculinity. The Beef Bros Kickstarter currently has $5,000 from 173 back. Now, I know I'm going to drive up because I have a lot of hate viewers. I'm going to drive up this number. And you know what? I'm telling you, as cringe as this is, really, and it's cringe, this is what I want Aubrey Citizen to be doing. I want him to be making his own cringe book uh, and not destroying ones that I remember from my childhood. And honestly, the coloring... Um, I like it. It looks good. Obviously, I'll never buy it because I'm not buying some like crazy, like commie, uh, comic book. But I mean, hey, cool, right? And and if you look at the uh, uh, ad again, I have to give him credit. Everything he's saying is a hundred percent cringe. All right, hundred percent. But he obviously worked kind of hard on this pitch video, and it's kind of funny. Um, again, the concept, the concept of, of the actual video of the comic is cringe, but I, I actually wish him luck to, to the 750 leftists that will back this book and, uh, you know, and, and exist. That's cool. I mean, let's look at the comments. Oh, not a single comment. That's odd. That's really odd. 28 upvotes, 38 downvotes. I mean, I, he goes all out. I mean, I, I just, let's take a little sample of this. There's a solution. I give to you salvation. I mm. give to you a testimonial. I give to you beef bros. Yeah, beef mm. bros. Bro. Beef bros. Look at that art. I mean, I, I think, it, you know what? Like, I give it to him. If, if, like, if this book wasn't like commie propaganda, I would I would be backing to it. To the real villains, I'm talking about sadistic cops, mm. greedy landlords, yeah. and even a couple of boot licking rival superheroes, all while embodying egalitarian oh. ideals of empowerment and mutual aid. <laughs> Dude, I, I can't even hate on it. I love it. I love it. Aubrey, you did a great job on this video. You have some vile opinions about politics, but I, I do really appreciate your, your hard work here. I wish you the best on this. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll back it just out of because I want you to make a living on your own original IPs as opposed to destroying those that I love. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. Beef Brothers.